Oop. Oop. Okay, yep, yeah, that's working. And for some reason... For some reason, it's... Gone away from the game. Capture. You, you are capturing this game. Why are you not capturing the game now? There you go. Okay, so now I will shut that down so I don't have to deal with that. And back to the game. I am... This... This is beautiful music. And the moment I heard it, I was afraid. Because, I mean, I still remember, I'm still dealing with part two of Celeste and it going, hey, there's still more copyright. And it's like, why are you picking up copyright stuff? The, the, I mean, I mean the exact same parts, exact same place during times when you don't pick up copyright. So that game's just completely copyrighted. It is horrible. For some reason. I don't know why. And I... I wanted to play this. But if I ever go back to Celeste, and I do want to go back, I am going to be playing another music. F. Can't be bothered. left me speechless until the, literally just before the guy with the smoke was on screen. Oh my goodness, why am I walking like a zombie?
when I do this, I just have the image of uh, a necromech from Warframe. Because I've been playing a lot of that. And if you crouch, you are so small <laughs> compared to just standing. But this just makes me... Just walking just kind of gives that uh, idea of like a mummy or zombie. Like, ah... Uh... I haven't been alive for a long time. <laughs> this rich man just sees this BS going down. He's like, come on, let's continue the story. And so I was born. The first people I remember seeing were the old man. The old lady and their daughter, Heather. After they'd said hello, the old man powered me down so he could install some software. I could tell they were nice people. The old man didn't give me a silly voice or stupid personality. And the old lady didn't dress me like a clown. Although for some reason, Heather really didn't like me. Once I'd had time to get used to walking, the old man asked me to dash from one end of the room to the other. Okay, that was X. And yeah, I... I set up the keys. He's doing the Naruto run! Next, <laughs> the old man spent a couple of hours building some wooden platform. He said he wanted me to jump up them, but I must admit, I was scared. It wasn't until I saw Heather and her mother happily climbing up them that I decided it might be okay. Yeah, I've... He uh... <laughs> can't jump behind the box. <laughs> Yeah, I got used to the jump considering I almost leaped over all of you. I had to check what was down here. Compulsive, uh, game playing. The old man then rearranged the platform. He told me to try to reach the other end of the room without touching the floor. Heather said the floor's made it louder. But when I smiled at her, she just frowned and looked away. The old lady arranged some pillows and blankets. She said it was in case I fell, but I think she just wanted it to look more like lava. When I reached the other side, the old man just smiled and said, That will do for now. That will do for now, trying to leap over us. After those first lessons, the family had a big meal, and I was introduced to everyone else. The professor was the old man's brother. He was very quiet, and always seemed to just kind of stare at me. He had lived with the old man for five years. The house was so huge they barely saw each other. He preferred instead to stay in his room, leaving everything up to his butler, Mr. Deck. 
as he insisted everyone called him, although the professor always called him Anton. For a while, he called me the yellow bastard, but then the old man made him stop, as he thought it sounded racist. Mr. Silden was the old man's driver. Before he worked here, he'd gotten in with some bad people, almost the driver in the post office robbery, although it all went wrong for some reason. Mr. Silton showed me a video of this band. I'm sure some people must like it, but I just found it terrifying. Then there was Alice. She was the cook. She was a nice old lady. When she was younger, she'd have been a TV chef. Then, years later, she had a small part in Coronation Street. Mr. Silton said, before she worked for the old man, Alice was quite a hoarder. She kept old newspapers and bicycles, and something about a poo in a shoe box. <laughs> the next morning, the old man gathered everyone together to show them what I was capable of. What else does he do? asked Mr. Silton. The old man smiled. He can help around the house. Could he help me with my newspaper collecting? asked Alice. I'm not sure that's a good idea, said the old lady, but he can do all sorts of jobs. Yeah, said Mr. Silton, shove a stick up his ass and he can do the next job. Now, now, said the old man, we have come to me, pointing to some important looking people. Two large men, both called Gary, set up what the old man referred to as lasers. He said, said again, I should try to get from one end of the room to the other, but I shouldn't be worried, as I had a special chip which meant no matter how damaged I was, I couldn't die. He said it was like infinite lies in a video game. But when he realized I didn't understand, he said he would explain another time. Back to the box! I, I hope this isn't the box that there's poo. Otherwise, I'm just like left in a poo box. No, you can't go past that. Okay. Oh. Oh. Don't have the shield. Just taking my time. I gotta do it now. <laughs> Everybody that, except the important looking man. Not exactly a cold calculated killer, is it? Said the man in black. The man in grey laughed. What kind of artificial intelligence was that? He asked. Move right, unless there's something in the way. Okay, okay, said the old man. He turned to me and whispered, They're going to make it quite a bit tougher, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Ooh, no, 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 no. Well, that was a, that was a special trick. Oh, uh, the fudge? Wee! 
of the galleys then rearranged the room one last time. The old man smiled. Now, now, there's no need to look so glum, he said. I'm still happy with everything you've done today. So this time, I was determined to do him proud. What? I, I more than likely almost squashed all of those people. <laughs> well, except for him. Like, I would have at least gotten past him and his family. It was the other people I was going to take out. Uh... Actually, I probably don't need to run for this. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> this is... Ooh! ooh. Well... <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Just keep doing the same thing. Okay, this one is definitely going to need a run! Uh... Here? I hit the wrong button. I hit the... Naruto run, not the... Oh. And, of course, I held that for too long. There's really not that much room to actually do this. Do you hold it for too long? Well, you're dead by that one. Said the man in black, it is no kill by 3,000, but you can almost see the fire in its eyes. Yes, the blue fire. A couple of days later, the old lady said she had a surprise for me. My own room. She also wanted to play me some music. I wasn't sure after what Mr. Silvan had shown me. As if music wasn't amazing enough, the old lady then bought me a television set. I couldn't believe what I saw. I watched everything I could. Comedy, drama, horror, sci-fi. Anything anyone wanted to watch, I would happily watch with them. Then one day, the old man set up a small box. He plugged some cables into the television and said, This is what I meant when I said video game. I played play games at every chance, chance I could. could. I, I took on everyone. I was unstoppable. I had, I had enjoyed music, film, and television. But to me, video games really were the highest art form. Mm. Please give me the option to play soon so I can turn that down. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
F. F. <laughs> I am so horrible at this. F. Come on. There we go, finally. Oh, that is so stupid. Come on. Just stop. Stop fighting! F! I was unstoppable. No, I effing wasn't! Uh, hang on. There. Like, that, uh, that music before really hurt me. Uh... I want subtitles on. Space is the enter for this. <laughs> it's it's like the top of this actually has uh, a decent, like, oh, fudge, a decent, uh, yeah, I, I think you just saw there, like, the top can, uh, take the hit and send it back, but the bottom has, like, no actual chance. Heather's birthday was a couple of months later. Her mum and dad had bought her a camera and arranged a day up by the sea so that Heather could take some photos, although I really don't think she wanted any pictures of me. When the old man asked the professor if he wanted to go, he frowned and said, I can't believe you want to spend time with that thing. It could destroy the world. I wasn't sure what he meant. But the, the old, old man just, just smiled and said, that's, that's what you said about the Game Boy. And on, how about you? I don't, I don't think so, said Mr. Deck. The last time I got in that car, Barry crashed us into a branch of Woolworths. I never would have gone into Woolworths of my own accord. <laughs> the old man explained that the car <laughs> rolled and the brakes had failed, but Mr. Deck was having none of it. So Mr. Silverman drove, and Alice came along for the fresh air. I enjoyed being outside. Although, the old lady kept telling me to be careful of the rickety old walkways. It felt like she was telling me off, but I think she was just concerned. As the old man and I stood on the cliff tops, I could see something in the distance. I wasn't sure what it was, so I asked the old man. He said it was a battleship that had sunk in the 1940s. But he looked so sad when he spoke about war. I didn't see what happened. 
but the metal platform ahead was climbing with a collapse. She was safe, even if the she was on looked very dangerous. The tide was rising, and we didn't know how long the cut of guard was going to be, so I offered to climb down the river. The old man agreed, but said I should be careful, as Heather doesn't have infinite lives, like I do. Now why would you not give her infinite lives? Oh. Heather was unconscious, and her leg was broken, so I picked her up as gently as I could. I decided it would be best if I didn't run the rest of the way. I still think it's funny, the guy is really did not want to go into the, the one place. Seems like he was more mad about having to, oh, no, I'm dead. He was more mad about having to, like, go into the place because of the car wreck than the actual car wreck. This just seems, like, really loud to me. I don't want to have to keep turning it down, but like... Oops, I... That, I just did a stupid there. Doo -doo -boo. Gonna be stupid. I hope there's no, like, actual time limit. I know the tide's supposed to be rising, but, like... Oh, there you... Really? I couldn't have come in from this side? This was much easier a way to get to her. No, I had to go the other way. An ambulance had arrived by the time I had made it back to the clip top. The medics made sure her head was okay, and then took her off to the hospital. A few, a few days, days later, later, we all went, went to see how she was doing. doing. She was fine, but would have to wear the cast for a couple of months. Hey, you better be happy. He saved you. You're a robot. You're a robot. They zoom in. <laughs> Zooming around. Once Heather got to know me, we became good friends. We enjoyed the same films and TV. She was also annoyingly good at some of my favorite games. <laughs> After a while, she became very interested in how I worked. Soon she knew as much about me as the old man did, if not more. We spent the next couple of months visiting other countries. That's when they came to teaching me things, 
The old man always liked to pick interesting locations. He had explained the basics of mathematics to me at the Great Pyramid of Egypt. Taught me history in the dead of night, surrounded by mysterious giant stones. And he didn't show me science in action high up in the hot air balloon. This is why I was surprised when the old man took me to the restaurant. It was nice, but it seemed very somber compared to the previous grand locations. He said he just wanted to chat, and this was nice and quiet. Plus it was his favorite place to eat. We talked about life, the universe, Douglas Adams, everything really. When I asked him why were we here, why did we exist, he just smiled and said, life is like a game, just don't expect to be finished any time soon. When I looked puzzled, he said, well, everyone should have a purpose. So I asked him, what's my purpose? He thought for a bit, then said, so you want to be a real boy? Which just confused me even more. Eventually the old man said, for now, I want you to help clean things around the house. I must have looked unimpressed. As he then said, Okay, I want you to clean one million things. It didn't sound like the meaning of life, but I suppose you've got to start somewhere. One million things! Well, technically, if a man had everything, he would put it everywhere it is. The old man said he wanted to install some more software, so he piled me down. When I came to, he said Mr. Silton had a joke for me, and that I should pull his finger. I don't think I got the joke. So the old man piled me down again. This time when I pulled Mr. Silton's finger, I got the joke. But it wasn't very funny. The old man then explained that he had installed a special chip which allowed me to clean away anything that was broken. He said it also tells me how many things are nearby, and how many smaller things are in a bigger thing. It all sounded very complicated, but he said all I really had to do was pause, and it would bring up all the information I needed. He then said he wanted me to find and clean all of the items in the room. He told me there would be some chains to climb, but that would be nice and easy, as I just had to press up. He then finished by saying, when I had collected all the items, I should come back here. Yes, you just need to press up. You know, I, I kind of, at one point, wanted to like have a bunch of friends and just talk to them like we were a tutorial it's like don't forget to check your inventory press the tab button to check your inventory <laughs> <laughs> but I, I I know most of the people that I had around me at that time would probably have came back with and where is tab is it up my ass? <laughs> oh you clean it by walking into it 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 <laughs> oh you gotta walk into those a little more You, you, you just stand at it, and it will just clean up. Yes! Hang on! I ain't done cleaning. Oh, you have this mechanic. Oh. 
How far do you get the swing? Oops, that. And I can't get back, so like, I'm I'm cleaning stuff. Oh, good. There's electrical things to stop me from cleaning. This is my job. I must clean. At least it still like counts towards oh my goodness what in the world I things you're BSing me <laughs> oh. yeah that was uh was a little too low. I didn't notice that it was coming back. Eh. Hang on, you old people. You old fools! You sent me to do a job! Then you're like, hey, go back over here. I ain't done yet. <laughs> I normally don't have the willpower to actually clean too much stuff. But like, if you find me with the time to clean, there are six items left. There are five items left. Are they anywhere along this track? No, they are not. Huh. Where are they? I've destroyed everything that I can recognize as being destructible. There's more stuff here. Where is it? Is it behind my box? It was. They do indeed expect you to go behind your box. All junk clean. Yes, sir. When I got a job to do, I will do it. Wee! The old man then asked the old lady there, and I followed him outside. I was happy too, as it was a lovely hot day. The old man said he was worried that Alice had been calling him again. She had filled up a small bar with old bicycles and newspapers. Heather said, this would be a perfect chance to properly test my new powers. The old man thought for a second, then said, using the step-toe chip, I should find and clean at least 300 things. 
When, when we explained to Alice what we wanted to do, she seemed scared. But after the old lady kindly explained that, well, the barn is starting to smell, she said it would be okay. One last thing, said the old man, if you want to use a door, just push up. When I was about to enter the old barn, Mr. Silton said he had seen some mushrooms growing inside. He asked me to give him any that I found. He then winked, but I wasn't sure. that trunk. There. Now I got more of the mushrooms so the man can try and get high on. I mean, I don't really know why you'd want to try and get high on them here. You don't know where they've been. This is the same woman that kept poo in a box. Oh! Oh, did not see that. I will keep using all of my extra lives, seeing as they're infinite. Okay, that will block me from hopping over. So there really is only like a small amount of space to go. Come on, get back out from under there. Eee! And I'm dead. Uh, no junk here. No junk here. The old man was very happy with everything that I had cleaned, but I think Mr. Silton was even more happy with his mushrooms. <laughs> it wasn't the days getting shorter. All evenings getting colder. It was the falling leaves that really made me feel sad. As we watched the trees blow in the breeze, the old lady said, The leaves must fall before the blossom comes. She had already explained the seasons to me, so for once, I actually understood. 
but it didn't make me feel any better. The old lady obviously heard enough of my moping, and said, Right, next week we're going to have a party. For some reason she insisted that we were all going to wear costumes. Heather was very excited and said, I've got some perfect ideas. Oh, Halloween party! Seven AM to who the F knows. It was terrifying. Everyone was dressed like someone else. I think I was meant to be some kind of pumpkin, as everyone kept shouting, It's the great pumpkin. Still, at least Mr. Silverton was having fun telling everyone his joke. And I suppose Heather's costume was quite flattering. <laughs> He's Charlie After Brown. What seemed like forever, everybody left, and things got back to normal. Heather was allowed to watch a scary film before she went to bed, but I had to help Alice and Mr. Deck clean up. I wasn't happy about this, but the old man said if I was quick, then I could watch the end of the film with them. Alice was vacuuming, and Mr. Deck was taking down the decorations. So I thought I should clean up the plates and glasses. Hello! No poo in a box, I hope? The ear-splitting sound was the fire alarm. As usual, Mr. Deck. Blamed Mr. Silton, saying he was probably smoking one of his jazz cigarettes. But then a professor appeared. He said that there was something burning in the kitchen. Alice looked confused, saying that she hadn't cooked anything since the morning. We were all surprised when Mr. Deck opened the oven. Inside was a large black cloak and a slightly burnt pair of men's underwear. Suddenly the old lady burst in. She looked terrified. She kept shouting, there's someone on the roof. When we went outside, it slowly became obvious that it was Mr. Silver. He was completely naked and playing his guitar. He shouted down. When I finish this song, I'm going to fly. The old lady said, oh my god, I know this one, there's only about 30 seconds left. Oh no! And then quickly turned to me and said, you know what to do. I have no freaking clue. Congratulations, you're probably going to die. And that's because I'm stupid. in the world did you not jump when I said jump? Come on. Got to do this. What? Where am I? Oh, and that was probably the end. Really? Why is it why? I turned why off. Stop with why. F.
Hello! Oh, why are you doing this? Is it because I turned Y off as an option? Do I have to hit every... What was it? What was it? It was A. Now it's A that has to turn that off. Okay. Oh, that was stupid. Ooh. Ooh. Why? Why did you not actually run and jump? And thank you so much. I really enjoy you not. Come on. By the time I had made it up to the roof, Mr. Silicon was beside the edge. I tried to calm him down, but he was acting even more bizarre than usual. Robot saves local idiot. <laughs> After an hour or so, Mr. Silton was fine. He said he had eaten some bad magic mushrooms. Part of me wondered why he hadn't doubled in its eyes. He was soon laughing and joking with the paramedics. One of them said he looked like the world's worst clown. I don't think Mr. Silton liked that. <laughs> so he told his own joke. But that just made the other paramedic call him Marshmallow Marto. I don't think he liked that either, but at least he was still in one piece. <laughs> <sighs> and a month or so later, Heather and I were playing video games when the old man said he wanted me to come outside. He said it had been a year since I had arrived, so he had a present for me. New shoes! He placed the teddy bear high on a wooden platform. He then told me I should try to pick it up. The uh, booch? I I I can't use the door. I don't know how. Try as I might, I couldn't reach the teddy bear. However, I still don't understand what happened next. The F?
Yes, stare angry at him. Yeah, that that really helped. Yep, they don't know what to do. Ouch. <laughs> Here, you try with the hammer. How about you? Come on, hurry up. I gotta turn this music down some more. Because that is really affecting me. What in the effing world is going on? Okay, I was I was up to up with everything, but now it's just like uh I don't know. The F This is so loud that I can barely tell the fact that the phone is ringing. Was I dead? Was this heaven? It sort of looked like the basement bathroom. It was the shoes the old man was going to give me. I thought I might as well put them on. They were just the right size. The old man's hat fit me pretty good as well. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if I wore it. Amazingly, the shoes allowed me to defy gravity. Or maybe it was the hat. Okay, sure. Yes. It was the hat. 
not the shoes that were red and supposed to be designed so you could get over that one thing to get the bear. No. Nothing is beautiful from every point of view. True. Part of the basement was flooded, and the stairs had collapsed. I didn't know what was going on, but I knew I wanted to get back upstairs. Eh. Oops, that, uh... The gate was locked. I would need a key to open it. I had to be careful. The electricity was going haywire in some places. Yeah, yeah, it, it would. I jumped. Yeah, even the slightest jump can just be like completely effing you. I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to. Oh. There we go. Let's see. <laughs> okay, that's a neat one. I like that mechanic. That that is a good mechanic. How long had I been asleep? Months? Years? I was so confused. Where had everybody gone? Yeah, that's what we're about to find out. Uh. Oh, yeah, I could just walk outside. <laughs> Didn't even go to my mind. I was slightly scared. This was the first time I had been outside on my own. Me. There's stuff to clean. Must clean. I knew what I had to do. This had to be my purpose. I would clean a million things so I could become a real boy. Whatever that meant. Why is there just this scaffolding everywhere? And a lot of it is wood. coming from one of the bedrooms, but the stairs were blocked by a wall of fire. So this People screamed turned out to be a man, a woman, and their children. They were confused and terrified. At first the man looked like he was ready to fight me, but after I convinced them that I was there to help, he calmed down. There was no way I could carry them all at once, so the children went in first. Come on. Let's go! 
I dropped the children off at the front door and promised them that I would be back with their parents. I couldn't leave, not while people were in trouble. Uh. Yeah. The fire was getting much worse, so the woman went next. Dude, uh, you might want to just, like, pop out the window. Because, like, next time... Uh, I sure as F was not on that. When we got to the front door, yeah. all the woman said was, Thank you. Please hurry. That's the plan. Uh... Uh... But can, can you not? Yes. This is the only way left. Okay, not that. Dude! By the time I managed to get back, the man was unconscious. I had to pick him up quickly, as I could tell the house was going to collapse at any moment. Out the window! Sure, let's let's just go ahead and just carry him. Not be smart and go out the window. Let's just carry him all the way down here. What? What happened? The F? Again, you should have gone out the window. You're a robot. You had him. I All you the family set up a tent so that they had somewhere to stay. The kids were excited as they got to camp outside, but I think they knew they had just lost their home. When, when I, I mentioned my quest, to clean a million things, the man said I should look through the rubble of the house, as they had no use for it. So, when everyone was making dinner, I looked through the wreckage. There wasn't anything I could clean, but to my astonishment, I found a TV set and a games console. With a bit of fiddling, I was able to get them to work. So I sat playing games with the kids until their parents said it was bedtime. As we talked, the man opened a bottle of wine. I asked what had happened. Why was everything so ruined? The man looked at the woman, then the woman sighed and said, There was a war. Yes, a war, said the man. One side of the planet attacked the other, and before we knew, it was all over. Everything gone. Everything destroyed. Well. It's late, said the woman. We should really get some sleep. Help yourself to anything you need, and we'll see you tomorrow. In the morning, I asked the man if he knew what had caused the fire that had destroyed their house. The man smiled, crowded old house, bad wiring. Constant electrical surges from the unreliable power plant. Take your pick. He My said, pick is a child who is in the background. Move to the mainland, but we can barely feed ourselves, let alone buy a new house. So for now, we are left here with the rest of the scum. But he did say I should head to the mainland, as there would be plenty there for me to clean, and a better quality of rubbish. The man said, 
Before the war, my lovely wife used to be a fisherman. Fisherwoman? Fishing person? I used to catch fish, interrupted the woman, and, seeing as you saved us all from the fiery end, maybe you would like to borrow my boat to get to the mainland. I was a little scared, but then they gave me some captain software and I was an old salty sea dog within minutes. Yes, because that's, as everybody knows, that's all it takes. Just, just the right software. I still want to clean this stuff. Uh, I don't know if I can. Oh. Yeah. I will clean you. Oh, good, there's guns. Five hundred junk collected. Oh, don't worry, there's more where that came from. Oh yeah, I did not do anything on this side yet. I must clean. Clean it all for clean sake. <laughs> They're just hiding little things to just be like, yes, let's see if you can find this. I was surprised to see an old man, but not as surprised as he was. It turned out he was blind. He was kneeling on the floor with his hand in a drain. When I asked him what he was doing, he said his cat had crawled into the pipes and he was trying to get her out. He was very happy when I offered to help. He said there was no way he could reach her from here, so if I was willing, I could make my way through the sewers and get her from the other end. He said he would turn off the water for as long as possible, but I would have to run, as the pipes would soon fill up again. I happily agreed, so he gave me a key. He said this will open all the sewer gates. Go through here, then down the ladder, and through the big door at the bottom. I need to clean stuff first. There's four junk things left. There's two junk things left. Yep, car. Oh, junk clean! Gary! Oh! Uh... This way. Uh -huh. I better run. Oh, my goodness. Why are you doing this to me? What the fudge? How am I supposed to actually do this? Uh, uh there's, there's, this is BS. This, this is stupid. I better run. Okay, fine. Yep. 
Ran too fast there. I better run. Huh. There's that small little area plan there. Yeah. I did it once. I better run. I better run. I better run. I always seem to just like hit that one spot. Will you jump when you're told jump? So, like, the ceiling has track. Yeah. Oh, why am I trying to just straight jump this? I can't, like, hop straight up there. Come on. Oh, yes. That's, uh... Oh. You can tell how little I actually, like, get to do stuff like this. I am horrible at this. Stop effing that up. Come on. Oh, I got the chair. <laughs> I'm still stupidly trying to get, like, all the trash cleaned. Why? Because I feel like it. Oh, I got that. There's like... Uh, I want to get close to... I want to get close to the edge, but the edge kills me. And that just keeps getting to me. You, you would think that he'd be able to, like, see a little bit wider. You jump, 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 jump. I keep saying jump a second time, but he doesn't want to. There, got that. That's stupid.
What the F? Eh. I'm at least gonna grab that. Such a horrible start. And like, right there, you just have to deal with that. Why? It is just really fast to just start this. And I gotta deal with that. This... Why? Why do you do this? Like, this story is nice, but like... Oh yes, wonderful. Uh, I I do not like. Mm, I do not like that. <laughs> of course, has to keep doing that. Yes. Why you were there? Oh, I hate this. This is not fun. This is She was fine, if a little confused. I was horrified. It looked like me, but it shambled around like something from the film we watched on Halloween. Yep, looks just like you. was easier to deal with. <sighs> the man was happy to have his cat back. He looked so content with her sat on his lap. <laughs> I told him about the thing I saw, but he just laughed and said, those bastard robots, they're always getting out through the pipes. Don't worry though, it'll never get through the big doors. If I had my way, we'd blow up the lot of them when we had the chance. I wasn't sure what he meant, but I decided now wouldn't be the best time to tell him I was a robot. The man laughed, and said, don't worry, I know who you are, and told me that he knew the old man. I know you were the original O1 model. As we chatted, the man brewed himself some tea. 
He said that he had worked for the old man. In fact, he had lost his sight in one of the old man's factories. Strangely, he smiled at his thought. He always did me right, he said. When I had my accident, the old man said he would look after me. And he did. He always made sure I had enough money, and he let me move into this old pumping station on his land. Which reminds me, I have something here for you. He rummaged the round behind the cupboard. Then he continued saying, The old man wanted you to have this when you were old enough, but they wouldn't allow it. He passed me a large box. It was empty. I thought about pretending to be excited, but the man said, Wait a minute. It's empty, isn't it? <laughs> he slumped back in his chair. I was robbed a few months ago. He said, almost in a whisper. It's strange. They took practically anything metal, but left loads of food in the brand new saxophone. The man looked sad, so I thought I would try to change the subject. I told him about my quest, the clean and clean things. This at least made him smile. He said I was welcome to go back through the pipes any time I wanted, as there were loads of old things in there that could be cleaned away. I want to clean almost everything in this game, but I will not go back through your pipes. Good sir. Good day. is here. I saved the people who let me leave this place, but I'm still here doing random stuff. Uh, nope, nope. You go over there. Need another key for the one place, and let's see. Nope. Stuff up here. Thirteen junk combo. Yeah. There's two hundred and eighty junk here. Apparently, I now have. Wait, Lazarus revives one one one. Is that my actual, like, is, is, is it not infinite lives? Is that my lives? And look at all the items that I apparently can get. Okay, this was your place. Uh, this was back in here. So, there's... oh wait, no, there was the one area I could go in. Uh, actually, I. Oh. 
Goodness, there's more for that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And back up here. Up this way. And I can't jump up that. Where do I go? So I can clean more things. Because I am not done. I refuse to be done. Okay. I have no idea how I'm supposed to go up that. Uh, yeah. I don't know where to go now. Oh, there's this place. Thank you. Yeah. More things to clean. Yes. Oh, good. I really love seeing this type of stuff. Nice. 69 more junk to clean. There. Okay. Oh. Why is it that they can shock me to death. <laughs> I said jump, but okay, I guess you don't want to jump. Not when I say jump, so... I don't... Uh, what's down here? Okay. Uh... <laughs> oh, there's some even down there. Yeah. Oh, toilet to clean. Can I come back? Yes. I took the fisherman's boat to the mainland. The fisherman was right. Everything was in pieces. Everything had been destroyed. 
I got the boat in some ruins. They must have once been a town. You've got to get the ability to, like, walk in water at some point. There's... I'm going back. So, yeah. I took you the can. To the old man. something but I don't have the skill for it which is probably the gloves so like I don't know what else I could like get Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I should have done a while ago. I don't know how I'm supposed to get in. But I think I'm supposed to get in there, but oh well. Two hundred and fifty eight items out here. <laughs> that whole just funny. I guess this is the way I'm supposed to go, I just don't see it yet. Okay, I'm gonna have to pull that, which is gonna let this down. That, oh. Stop doing that. Oh, I cannot get this. Why would you have that there, then? Oh, that's not counting down. That's counting up. I've died 120 times, apparently. And, like, right here, I feel like I need to be able to go up there. Otherwise, I'm not going to have the space to... Yeah, I'm not going to have the space to be able to do that jump. Where is... Where is... 
the path forward? Or do I just need to clean up so much stuff to be able to get the next item? Um... Hmm. No? Don't know. That says no entry. Uh, I don't want to go back down here. Oh, that's why I didn't want to go back. Yes. I... No, no. Well, back into this. I'm not happy about this. I better run. Hmm. I better run. Are you are you sure about that? If you're seeing me do poorly, it's because I am literally holding down the run button while I'm trying to just, like, jump I this. Better I better run. I better run. I, I fucked that up. I better run. Well, you gonna like, run? I better run. Uh, are you sure? Oh, uh, that one I should not. That's where I need to stop. The whole... Better run. This is torture for me now. Maybe I should have done the little uh, pathfinder. Or hob. Well. This sewer system is horrible. I hate it. Okay, yeah, that's, that's yeah, that's that's what happened. We I I truly I hate this sewer system. Yep. Yeah. I feel like I need to just keep moving, but if I just keep moving, I always end up effing it up. I hate that. This part I don't really... I have no problems about this part.
These things are just shambling out. That that one's a little speedy, but like still, it's not really anything to worry about. I'm like, that, that, that's it. Okay, so I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Maybe it is over to the freaking... <sighs> you know, this was very straightforward until now. I took the fisherman's boat. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of thinking about turning skip on now. I really... Oh, yeah, that did not notice that I could do that. Clean all of this. Yeah. All right. Clean this. Uh, oh, finally back to actually having some fun. Really? The one piece that I cannot actually, like, stand on. Fine. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's... Oh, junk cleared! <laughs> I don't know why. But it made me happy doing that. Um, let's see. Trying to just to find, like, the way I'm supposed to go. I will clean this up. What are these lights for? You need to be cleaned. I was confronted by a lovable fat old dog. He almost looked pleased to see me. Suddenly, three men appeared holding large guns. Or at least two men and what looked to be a pregnant woman. Incredibly, it was Mr. Sildon. I thought you'd been shut down, he said. I mean, it's been years. I'm not really sure what happened, I replied. I then told him about me cleaning a million things. He laughed and said, nothing changes. He then showed me into what was surprisingly a really nice house. Please excuse my husband, said the pregnant lady. I'm Edwina, but everyone calls me Eddie. I believe you know this idiot, and that's Preston. We met, said the small man. It was me that delivered that thing, remember? All you used to deliver was we, mumbled Mr. Silton as he put the dog dish on the floor. And I was there that night, when this wag was off his face on my room. Thanks for letting me and the dog stay, by the way. Yeah, well, we like the dog, said Mrs. Silton. And I suppose I got you to thank for us meeting. What, what were you giving the barrel of dodgy magic mushrooms? She pulled out an old photograph. It was one that Heather had taken the night I had saved Mr. Sildon.
It reminded me of everyone else. So, I asked, what had happened to them? Mr. Silton said Alice had a small place in the countryside. The professor had pulled up in one of the old man's factories. Mr. Deck was, believe it or not, now a presenter on the only state television channel. And Heather and her mother lived on a government compound where they both worked. I asked about the old man, surprised that Mr. Silton hadn't mentioned him. He's... he's dead, said Mr. Silton. Sorry, I thought you knew. Anyway, said Mr. Preston, I thought you said that robot thing found in the mushrooms for you, in that all is manky old barn. Mr. Silton looked embarrassed. Well, said Mrs. Silton, I guess we've got you to thank for getting us together then. Time for bed, I think, said Mr. Silton, make yourself comfy, and we'll see you in the morning. Yep, I'm trying to keep up. Yeah. I can fly. And he's gone. Oh well. Just go to cry. Oh, miss where the heart is. Eh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. That is true. The next day, I thought it might be a good time to ask about the war. Judging by the look on everyone's faces. It wasn't. Well. The war, said Mr. Silton. Barry interrupted his wife. Can I see you for a minute? And dragged Mr. Silton out of the room, leaving me with Mr. Preston. <laughs> All of a sudden, Mr. Silton appeared. How about you now? He said. Mrs. Silton started to make some food, and Mr. Preston was playing with the dog. Leaving me to chat with Mr. Silton. I said that I really wanted to see everyone else, but Mr. Silton said that it wouldn't be that easy. Traveling now, especially for a robot, is complicated. Go back to the house, you could even do some cleaning. Wait there and I'll work out a way to get you to each of them. I told him that I couldn't get into the main house because the whole way seemed to collapse. I have just the thing, said Mr. Silton, as he pulled some sort of card out of his pocket. If you can get into the caves under the church, next door to the house, you can use this security pass to get into the old man's laboratories. You can get into the main house that way. I was so excited, I would be able to get back into my old room. I said thanks, and made my way to the front door. Also, I think you might be able to help us out said Mr. Silton, but we will meet up back at the old man's house in a couple of days. You head there and we'll see you soon. Do you have any gloves? I still think it might have been them that robbed them. Now this, this part I like. Not under a time limit strain, not uh, feeling like everything's uh, run and gun or die. I wasn't sure what to do with this machine. Well, that's how I'm going to be getting out of here. At least I think it is. Yeah. I 
how to do this maneuver. Ooh, that one could have gone real bad. Yeah. Yeah. Wee! Oh. Well. Regret. Regret. How? How is he getting rebooted? <laughs> that thunk at the end. Thunk. <laughs> that one's scary. So when are we going to get to use the boat to fish? I like fishing. Oh, uh, wait, is it? No, 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 no. It was the other place that lets me in. Don't try and hold the hat on your head. Just run. Run, boy, run. Run with all your might. As I walked through the old church ruins, I was surprised to hear Mr. Silton calling me. He said he had forgotten to give me something, and the church as community hall would be the perfect place to try it out. As soon as we walked into the hall, Mr. Silton said he had a present for me. Knew it! It was a pair of atlas gloves. They made me think of the old blind man with the cat and his stolen atlas gloves. I wonder if Mr. Silton knew how lucky he was to still have them with a glove thief around. Mr. Silton asked me to try the gloves on and start chucking things around. But not him. He was very clear about that. <laughs> Mr. Silton suggested we clean the hall. Of course, I knew when he said we, he meant me. But I was happy to try out my new gloves. He said I should clear everything off of the basketball court and put the things on the floor either side. I fiddled with the settings for a bit, but when Mr. Silton saw I was having trouble, he produced a small manual. He explained that the pressing down and X would pick the thing up. X would then throw the thing, and if I wanted to place it on the floor, I should again press down and X. He looked more and more confused as he read all this, but eventually he finished by saying, Well, I hope that made more sense to you than it did for me. That's not far enough. So, uh, where's the... Uh... Ooh, that's, that's going to be a little hard to actually, like... Nope. No, I, I want the basketball. Are you stupid? I want the f***ing basketball. There we go. Got it! Finally! I 
I had to at least get one. Yeah. Okay, you can still jump with them. Good. Come on. Yeah. Mr. Silton sounded slightly annoyed when he said, Come on, take all the stuff off the basketball court and chuck it either side. You are really not trying this. Uh, I, I, whoa, that's, uh, yeah, that, that's got a little more boost than I thought. But right here. Oh, no. Oh. You know what? F it. He's going to get mad. This stuff wasn't here last time, so. Let's see what else these gloves can do, said Mr. Silton as he flipped it through the manual. He actually looked quite excited when he displayed the Tony X while walking into or under a falling thing with the alarm to catch it. I must admit, it, I was then really happy when he suggested we make it a game and I tried to catch 10 basketballs. Budging this up. Why? There we go. Next, Mr. Silverman suggested we make it a really game and see how quickly I could score 10 baskets. I enjoyed this so much. It felt just like the good old days. Except Mr. Silverman wasn't as forgiving as the old man. Okay, that was stupid. You know, this is just like sort of irritating. Just like here, let's let's have this go on longer than it ever needed to go. There's, there's a reason why some people just go with three. When I called ten baskets, Mr. Silverman gave me what he called a high five. Don't worry, he's not going to he steal your gloves right now. Everything about the gloves, and I should be able to continue through the basement of the church into the house. When I asked him if he was coming with me, he just laughed and said they would catch up with me in the main hall.
the F was that? Oh, good. You know what? Let's go this way. Let's deal with this because this is going to get on my nerves. Uh, 31 more things. Yes. Uh, good. I really enjoy that. If you... I was stood in a gigantic cavern. When I looked down, I was horrified to see hundreds of corpses of those things. Those things! As horrible as it sounds, my steptochip said they were things to clean. So clean them I would. There were things to clean! The corpses of the fallen. Great. <laughs> corpses of those that have no reason to be here. You know, except for someone's obsession with making war machines. Which, I mean... That... That <laughs> must be the door Mr. Silton talked about. After Irritus, I probably, uh... Can't say too much. Oh. Yeah, that's... Clean you up. All junk cleared! The door was exactly as Mr. Silton had described it. I just hoped that the guard he had given me was the security key, and not just some backstage pass. <laughs> I the door, but soon an alarm went off. Something caught my eye. It's a small yellow sphere. The book next to it explained that it was a shield that would automatically take a hit from me when activated. The Y button took the shield in and out of storage, meaning I could save it for when the going got tough. It seemed that I started with two slots to carry shields. But I could upgrade to be able to carry more. If both I and the shield died in the same room, the Lazarus chip would bring us both back. It's almost as if the shield needed its sacrifice to mean something. It felt like a true friend, proving that even the simplest of faces can bring out an emotional reaction. Okay. I got the shields. It's uh till there's actually like a reason to have the shield out. Take that. But on <laughs> I can't have any more. Uh, 
Yay! 11 junk combo! Come on. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I can, like, go... Well, that was... magical. Some of these are just like really tight. Come on. I have no clue about how I'm supposed to, like... This is irritating. Yeah. Yay! It's still not ending. Come on. This is irritating me with the whole B D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D Can you shut up? Something literally caught my eye. Finally. I remember the old man had installed some software that helped show me things that were interactive, and how to interact with them. This must be what he was talking about. Just now you realize that. The electron gun blew the power. I needed to turn it back on before I could fire again.
F. Okay, I can... I can understand the boss fight. Gotcha. Yay, more this stuff. Valuable. More wow, stuff. To this was clearly worth something. You know the things. Oh no, it's still going. I thought it was finally shut the F up. I really want to clean things. Six jump combo. Well, at least here I won't have to hear that BS. Another shoe. Oh, yeah. I already got my shoe. The video recorded blinking light caught my eye. It must have been years since I had seen a film or TV show. Maybe I would take a little break from my quest and watch the film on the tape. As the video started, I was surprised to see an old man. Hello, hello, he bellowed in his familiar tone. This is test number, um, 107C. He continued as he read from a clipboard. This unit still has three major issues. One, the shell is so incredibly thick that the whole machine is still far too large and heavy. Two, the missile system is too unpredictable and aggressive. And three, the trade-off between power and intelligence is far too great. I think the military capabilities would be far too dangerous in the wrong hands. I think we would be best to push forward with the Innocence Project. I didn't really understand a word of what he said, and I was slightly disappointed that he had recalled the other film, but it was nice to see the old man's face again. The Innocence Project, so yeah, the, the Horse Project. Oh good, a beam right there. I wasn't sure what was going on, but suddenly, inanimate objects started to come to life. Finally! Gotcha. Gotcha. 
Is supposed to that. Oh, why the chains? Supposed to. Nope, I don't like that. Oh, yes, that's exactly what I needed. I needed a watery basketball. Yeah. get it. I needed to bring something over so I could destroy that. Alright. Guess I'm bringing the trash can. No! Bring the trash can! Yeah! Oh, you beehole. I tossed the item. Why? <laughs> it seems like a bug, but you know, it's a bug I'm okay with. <laughs> Happened to me. I still feel that I actually made that and yet the game's like nope I... 
I am confused now. So now the game is willing to just like give me a shield. <laughs> Why are you playing so bad? The game's like, here, have a shield. You are bad. Me. Uh... Uh... Okay. This chain needs to have more gift than this. Because of all of that trash was there, I did not see that second one. But... Got to this... At no point have I ever claimed that I was good at games. stuff like do I really want to yeah yeah I really want to oh F a shield <sighs> ooh, 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 ooh. stop stop being stupid <laughs> this gets buggy sometimes but hey, all junk cleared, so... I mean... Like... <laughs> yeah. There is like small sections of these that are just like safe. And if you're not in that section, then you're not safe.
on. Ew, man. Oh, uh, I hate that about this. Those, they literally, they, they don't actually like move between each other. It's just like, oh yeah, you're still here. Okay, I'll go back this way and then come back. Which will just completely throw me off. I'm so used to like better, better versions of it where it's like, oh yes, uh, they, they either know how to go behind each other or they know that they can't. Oh my goodness, what is the fucking platform? Because it is not the black part. I hate dealing with these things. It's like, hey, hey. You're, you're doing really bad. Have a shield. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that mechanic, especially because it proves that, yeah, I, uh, I'm not good. It proves that I am not actually, like, good. Or that I'm trying to hide that I'm not good. The fact that I instantly, automatically lost that shield. It is so stupid. There are... Like, I know somewhat what I need to do. Ooh, finally got over here, but, uh... I just want to finish this. Is... How does this game save? What is that why zero out of two is Oh, why? Why are you torturing me like this? No, butthole. Here we go. And... Oh good, saw blades. Because this wasn't horrible enough yet. We needed to add saw blades into the mix. How 
is everything else able to like be on the ceiling? If it this Oh good, yes, wonderful. Okay, uh, I'm getting hungry and irritated from this game. So. I'm going to have to, like, uh, just, like, stop for a bit. And apparently if you hit exit right there, it just completely shuts down. I will... I will have to see where that's safe. Because I'm getting hungry, and I'm getting to a point where I'm not really having a good time because of my hunger. So far, it's, it's a fun game, except for certain aspects. Where they've... Uh, done things that just like oh yes uh here's this section where you have to race up against water i don't like doing stuff like that i don't like feeling pressured like that but uh yeah we'll see where we'll, we'll come back to uh, next time. So, see ya.